Howdy, I'm Jason with Offro Wizard. Today we're going to seal a gas tank that has some pinhole leaks in it with some KBS gold standard tank sealer. So stay tuned. All right. Okay. <laughs> Where to start? Okay. I know, it's right? I just gotta do, gotta do it. All right, first step is the KBS clean. So it is a, for this particular tank, is gonna be a one-to-one. -one. So one of these to one of these of water. The hotter the water, the better. So we are probably actually gonna go inside and grab a bucket of uh, water from the tub to make it as hot as possible. I'll pour this in, then we'll pour the hot water in, and then we swish it around and get her all clean. All right, so we already had gas in this, so we had to empty all the gas out, and then we rinsed it out real good to get any residual stuff off. Um, now we will, Use the cleaner. So I can get the exact amount. Oh, yeah. Yep. Ow, ow. The water's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> ow. Ow. Come on, Phil. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, then we just rinse it. So we just, uh, so we just uh, pour it in start rinsing it around. Huh? So we just gotta make sure we don't spill it out the top. Yeah. This is a bad idea to do this <laughs> after my hands are already wet. Yeah. That's right. Oh, putting gloves on? Yeah, we'll yeah. figure it out. You should put gloves on before. You know, you should put gloves on before. You would think. You would think, right? <laughs> <laughs> a professional would be putting gloves on before. Okay. All right, here it goes. So I just dunked it in this water. So, one to one. All right. Rinse it out. And then we just rinse it out. All right, my lovely assistant is going to grab the hose and we'll rinse it out. That is my son Dylan, who was gracious enough to lend me a hand. I know I didn't introduce him earlier. So next we're gonna take the tape and we're gonna tape off the the two holes one for the sending unit and one for the fuel pump itself. I'm gonna leave the opening for the fuel fill so I can fill it up and put the stuff in that I need to put in. Oh. Alright, this isn't working. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> all taped up so now we have to fill it with the rust blast all right scratch that uh, apparently you paint this stuff on so this is the, the pre-paint primer so actually I'm gonna use the big giant hole and uh, and then paint the inside so that's the plan I guess I can tape back up. <laughs> just the one hole though just the one hole It's gotta be dry though, so uh, there's still some water in there. So I'm gonna soak up as much water as I can and then I'm gonna let it dry for a little while. So now we gotta paint this stuff in there. So I'm gonna shake well. Over the sink. I'm just gonna pour this in. Huh, that's weird. Like clear.
I was expecting more of like a paint thing. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna pour a bit of this in here. So I'm just slapping it around in here. I mean, it doesn't look like it's evaporating really, really quickly, which is yep. cool. So that's good. If you want a smaller tank, you could just like seal up everything and pour it in and just slosh it. So maybe like the motorcycle tank. Okay, we're back. So it has been three weeks actually since we cleaned this tank. It is recommended that you do it within 10 days. We have completely ignored that. I had actually missed that in the directions and didn't have any cleaner left anyway to re-clean it if I wanted to. So this is what we're doing. Um, we were actually gonna do it a while back, but it was really, really hot and it's still really hot. And so we just said, finally, just we're gonna do it. Um, so I have to take and take this whole container, spill it into there. Then we're gonna seal up everything and then we'll just start rotating it. It says to do it within about five minutes, your rotation every five minutes for a while, and then we'll drain out the excess and then again, continue to rotate it, rotate it until uh, it's dry. All right, here we go. Point of no return. Once you open it, you cannot close it again. So it is, as soon as it gets exposed to the air, it is gonna cure. So you get one shot at it. You gonna give me some gloves? We are completely, ooh. I think we are, I think we're gonna mix this. It looks pretty not uniform. So that's what it looks like right now. It looks kind of metallic-y. So we're gonna mix it up much better. So we'll keep mixing this up. Try and get the edges, get everything in there. Wow, it's actually pretty cool. I've used stuff like this before, but it was all black and it was really thick. And it was a giant pain in the butt to get it to coat the whole inside of the tank. I was doing a motorcycle tank. It was really thick. I ended up not even getting it completely coated. It, le it still leaked, unfortunately. So I spent a little extra money and got the good stuff. So let's see. Okay, so now, now, now we take. So once we get the uh, inside all coated, ah, we're gonna paint the along the seams on the outside. So I'm mainly worried about my seams and that big giant seam there, and then obviously the seam on the other side. So I'm gonna concentrate on those areas first. Rotating it. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. So now I'm going to attempt to pour it all back into here, which is not going to be easy. This is very messy. I need a screwdriver. Oh, interesting. Okay. Fun part. So, I wouldn't have painted on the outside of this, but I spilled a bunch. So I didn't want to waste it. So, that just complicated things. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, my fill thing is a little indented, so I've got to go down to this side to try and get it in right, which is just going to be a mess. So hopefully I don't um, get it covered in me. This is a pain in the butt. Wear gloves. There we go. Okay. Perfect. 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 So 
So we are about to that point to where I'm where we're done. I still have quite a bit on the bottom that I cannot get out. Uh, I'm going to flip the tank over and then maybe it'll come out this middle hole. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Um, it's not like a huge, huge amount, but it's, it's moving. So, I don't know. We'll see. So, I'm going to flip it over. See, it's not going to happen. I don't need to see. But it's not I will probably just keep rotating it a little bit. I can, which is nice. Because, um, again, all you have to do is seal the outsides and the uh, and that one middle seam. All right, so we're done. Pretty much, I have to let it sit for 96 hours, which is like three days, I don't know, something like that, a while. So, um, yeah, uh, we'll check back when it's dry. Um, it's messy, and I coated the outside, coated the inside. I actually got quite a bit of it out of there, so there's just a little bit left, which is good. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna rotate it probably a couple more times tonight, um, just every 15 minutes or so. Um, but other than that, should be good to go, should be done. So, we will see. Here you can see the darkness around the seams there. I was a little concerned that I didn't get covered there. Let's do some grinding. So when I built the tank, I'd wish I'd done the pressure test on it then. I inserted a flashlight into the inside, checked for pinhole leaks. We found a few, but obviously we didn't find all of them. So I started by taping off all the openings, trying to get as good of a seal as I could on the system. And then I was debating on how to get air into the system while still keeping it sealed. And noticed I had a bunch of gloves laying around. So here I doubled up the gloves because I wanted to make sure that I didn't burst one of them. Next so I cut off one of the fingers and then this was kind of the pain in the butt part. I had to reach in there and grab the other one and pull it out and cut it also. Then we just inserted the nozzle into the two fingers and taped it up and then uh, slowly open the valve. So I just sprayed the tank down with a bunch of soapy water and nothing seemed to leak, bubble up. You can see there it's bubbling up as a test to make sure that there was actually air coming out of the system. It's coming around the openings of the gloves there, but nowhere else, which was a relief to say the least. So as you saw, looks like it turned out really nicely. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Looks like it's sealed pretty good. I didn't notice any pinhole leaks anywhere. I haven't put any gas in it yet. So when I put gas in it, I will uh, put a comment down below saying if it actually still leaked or didn't leak. Hopefully it didn't leak. And uh, yeah, we'll let you know, we'll keep you updated. If it did leak, I'll let you know that it leaked. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm really impressed with this stuff. It, it turned out really nicely. I'm glad it worked. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Comment below, like the video, hit the bell. I'm gonna have more of this type of content, uh, a lot more fabrication stuff. We're gonna be putting my Jeep together, so we still gotta go through all that. You guys come along the journey with that. Um, and then we're gonna go wheeling and go adventuring. And then I'm sure break some stuff and build some more stuff. We'll be putting out videos weekly. So I got a lot of stuff that I wanna show y'all. So until next time. Today, that? nope. Howdy. I'm, that. Today, that. Howdy. Today, no. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Jason with Off-Road Wizard. Today's episode, nope. No, 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 okay. <sighs> From, nope, uh -uh. Today we're going to don't look off camera. Standard. Um, that's not bad.